starting tomorrow morning, if not tonight. Uh, because obviously, uh, you know, all the leaders, although they are all co calling uh, yeah. to support Macron now, uh, they will uh, decide who is okay. the culprit and I'm just uh, how to get there. I'm just going to interrupt you. I'm sorry, Christine, to cut sure, you but off on your prime, but here is Marine Le Pen. She's at uh, a headquarters in Enambouma, in the north of the country, in the Pas-de-Calais region. Let's listen in. Fellow citizens, you've projected me on to the second round of the presidential election. And I'm aware of the honor you're giving me, and I'm humble and grateful. I would like to express to you, French patriots, how grateful I am. The first step which should lead France to the Élysée is already covered. It's a historical result, and it's for me to take on board the enormous responsibility of defending France, being responsible for its culture, its prosperity, its independence, and its security. And it's something to do with French pride, a country that raises its head, which is sure of its values and trust into the future. I'm sure absolutely every French person has been aware of the fact that the system tried through every possible mean to stifle the big political debate that election should have been. But that big debate is going to take place at long last. French people have to take on board that historical challenge because the challenge of that election is wild globalization which attacks our very civilization. It's a very simple choice for France. Either we carry on towards total deregulation without any border, any protection with the consequences it entails with international unfair competition mass immigration, the free trade and the free circulation of terrorists, or you choose the France with borders that are going to protect our employment and our national identity. So you have two choices, and that's the real alternative, the real one, not the one when government merely changed without nothing serious ever changing. What I'm suggesting is that we should aim for the real alternance, a fundamental alternance, which is going to put in place a new type of politics, new faces, and a real renewal. It's not with the air of François Hollande and all the failures these catastrophic five years were that alternance is ever going to come. The time has come to free the French population and the whole French population without forgetting our friends overseas that trusted me and I'm very proud of the, con the confidence they manifested towards me. It's time, the time has come to get rid of all the arrogant people who want to dictate to the population what they should do. I am the candidate for the people. And it's an appeal to all the sincere patriots, whether they come from, whatever their origin, whatever they voted for in the first round, I invite them all to join us and to abandon old-fashioned quarrels and uh, to concentrate on what is the superior in interest of our country. That was really essential. And that's what's at play, the survival of France. So I call upon them to unite behind our project of renewal, and uh, they will be our brothers. In, uh, the 8th of August 1943, General de Gaulle reminded that in Casablanca, the grandeur of a people only proceeds from the people. And uh, the, there's been 1,500 years of past behind France, and that's the principle I'm going to implement. And that uh, gathering together of uh, what all the French dream of, it only can happen through France. Long live the Republic, long live France, and long live the population and the people of France. So there we are, a beaming Marine Le Pen amid the tricolours at her headquarters in Enam Beaumont.
very pleased with the result as you can see they're through to the second round of that vote trailing Emmanuel Macron a huge battle ahead of them if they're going to take the Elysee Palace and uh, let's get the thoughts of Christine Ocran who is with us I cut you off in your prime Christine but what we heard there from Marine pretty predictable it's about borders it's about national identity she's the real alternative that's what we'll hear plenty of in the next two weeks yes indeed and uh, the Front National was very much hoping to have to confront Emmanuel Macron because to them he's the caricature of globalization of the financial elites uh, of the system uh, and so uh, I'm sure uh, that they would have feared much more in a way, having to face either Fillon or Mélenchon, uh, because uh, Benoît Hamon, the socialist candidate, has never really sprung up. So it, it will be a very predictable uh, fight in the coming two weeks. The fact that Emmanuel Macron has already uh, gotten the support of all the, 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 uh, the leaders of the system, yes. uh, be they socialist or conservative, uh, will of course induce many voters of, of both traditional political families to indeed follow that advice and vote for him. But uh, again, there will be many people who will say, um, I will not go for the Republican upsurge that we saw in 2002 when Jacques Chirac, as you remember, got 82% yes. of the votes. I don't think that will happen this time around. You don't think it will be as convincing? Not as high uh, a, a sort of wall. Yes. Uh, but, but still, I think uh, the Front National has a very, very tough fight ahead, yeah. uh, even if, and that's a remarkable achievement on Marine Le Pen's uh, side, I must say, they ideas, the, the themes, uh, uh, will really remain in the national debate. And that's very much her 